Hey YouTube, this is Mystic Virgo 4444. This is June the 27th, 2019. I am doing a pick a card reading this evening. And what I want you to do is choose uh, stack one or stack two. And my question would be, what does my inner child want to say to me? What does my inner child want to say to me? So I'll let you choose deck one, deck two. So go ahead and take a few seconds. And I will go ahead and um, put the timestamps in when I'm done. Timestamps in when I'm done with the video. So one, two, whichever one you feel comfortable with, whichever one grabs your attention right away. So if you need to, just pause and then go back. Okay. So I'm going to start with deck one. What does my inner child want to say to me? Okay. So I have the seven of pentacles. The Tower card, the Two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. So I wanted to take a look at this to see what does your inner child want to say to you. I also have the Scorpio card. I'm going to read this out of the book to get you so you can better understand. And I have here postcards. Postcards from Spirit. So I'm not going to read this whole card, but I am going to read. I'm going to read some of it for you. So hopefully this will tie in together with what with whatever the message is that I have for you. So what does my inner child want to say to me? I have the Seven of Pentacles, the Tower, Two of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. It looks like there was some money when you were younger. Maybe. Um, you had your family had some money or whatever, uh, and all of a sudden something happened. Maybe someone lost their job or whatever, and maybe you lost a home. Uh, maybe a home was lost. I kind of feel a little a little sad right now because of the money situation. It looks like when the person lost their job, or maybe the person passed away, or something happened to, to the family unit to where maybe there had to be. I'm I'm seeing two paths. Maybe children had to be split up. Because of the money situation wasn't right. Um, and that's maybe something you have never been able to get over with this. Maybe you had to be split up from your family. Maybe um, adoption. Um, maybe um, maybe someone got taken away from, from their family for whatever reason. I see, a, I see parting of ways here. Um, Maybe you've always felt that you've always had to to work because you didn't want to be put in the situation as you were put in that you were put in as a child, having to lose your home, having to lose everything because somebody lost their job or maybe someone passed away. I'm looking here at the six of pentacles right now. You're probably always working, trying to balance things out. You're probably a little maybe a, maybe a workaholic and uh, you don't want to. Um, you don't want to lose your home because here this guy in the seven of one, he is standing in front of his home. He or she is standing in front of his home, his his domicile uh, guarding it because he doesn't want anyone. in. he has these ones come near, come near this person. If you want to trying to take this home away from this person, it's not going to happen. They worked hard at, at their life, at their life, because being a child and having to see your parents struggle after losing everything. It was was maybe traumatic to you as, as a child and growing up because you didn't want to be an adult having to struggle, having to go through what you went through as a child. You hated seeing your mother or father struggle and they had to give you up, not because they didn't love you or because they didn't care, but they needed to because they just couldn't they couldn't afford to take care of you anymore. This glare is so so I'm sorry about this glare. Um they couldn't afford to take care of you. I'm just going to put one part out to clarify and one popped out. Here it is. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not going to deal go with this in your life now. You're going to block out everything negative in your life. You can always block out the negative. No, but you can prevent certain things by keeping a job, keeping your bills paid, keeping a roof over your head. And that's your main objective because you never want to be out in the cold. You never want to lose your home, your house, your apartment ever again because you know how it is bringing up children. If you have them, you don't want to have to go through what you, you don't want your children to have to go through what you went through and, and losing your home and losing your family, possibly being put in an adoption or, or foster care to your, your parents or mother or father 
got their stuff together. Maybe they split up the family. They split up the family unit. And, and that was just something. And if you can see this, this path has a deer on one side and a deer on the other. You see that, how they're separated? The family is separated in this path. One went one way, the other went that way. So, and, and you don't want to have to do that. Okay, you want to make sure that your family unit is fine, is intact, and everything is the way it's supposed to be because you don't want to have to go through that. Okay, so now I'm going to read the zodiac sign for those of you who, who chose uh, Miss Scorpio, um, for those of you who chose that one. And I hope you all have been resonating with this reading. I hope it was something that you needed to hear, but the child in you is not going to allow you to go through what you went through as a child. You're strong. I'm also hearing the word obstinate. Maybe you're obstinate or whatever. Uh, you don't want anybody in your way. It's, it's like you, you work in a, in a cutthroat environment. Not to say that, that you are, are a cutthroat kind of person, but you know, you'll do anything what you need to do in, in, in a good way to, to stay on top. You don't like to you don't like to fail. You're probably a type A personality. And you don't want anybody standing in your way because you want to get stuff done. So the card here for Scorpio here, for those who chose that one, is you're fixed, you're a water sign, if that's who you are. You like to create things. Uh, the mysterious energy of water takes on the fixed quality of intensity to suggest a determined quest to unearth the truth. The key phrase, I create what you created a life of, of, of abundance for yourself because you know how it is to be without and you don't want to be without. So I create plays out as a motivation to create reality based on handpicked truths. And this situation asks, what is the truth behind the facade? Things are not always what they seem. No, it's not always what, because you, you, you don't, you worry a lot about your childhood and what you've been through. You haven't been able to let that go. You're not always the happiest person in the world because of what you went through. And that's just life. We had child, I had a childhood that I didn't like, but I'm still here, you know, and I have here. The energy of the Scorpio is alluring and powerful and can be dangerous when pursued for its own sake rather than as a means to healthy and balanced in. Avoid using your powers for evil. And that's what I just said, that you will go, you will go through it at any rate to be successful, but that's okay as long as you do it in a nice, healthy kind of way. So, and this is the book here that I'm reading out of the Zodiac book. So I'm just going to read a little of this card, this postcard here from Spirit to see exactly what you need to know. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all in life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you, and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. All is well. So I hope you all who chose deck one resonated with this, and I hope you all listen to your inner child just telling you, you know, everything is going to be okay. It's never going to be like it was when you were young. You're never going to lose your house because you won't you won't allow that to happen. You, your inner child is telling you you're not going to lose anything. Don't worry about it. Keep doing what you need to do to keep your home, to keep your family unit together and find a way to deal with with how you feel on the inside from your childhood. Maybe you need to have some therapy or maybe go to a a support group and, and maybe talk to somebody. Or even if you have to, maybe form your own support group. You have the power to do that. Okay. So I hope you resonated with that. Uh, those of you who chose to, if you want to stick around for deck two, be, you're more, you're more than welcome to do so. If not, thank you. And I will go ahead and post this as soon as I can. Okay. So you'll have a good night. And for those of you who chose deck two, here we are. I have here the magician, <clears throat> the five of wands. The Knight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Death card. So this is asking, what does my inner child want to say to me? What does my inner child want to say to me? I have the Capricorn card here that I'm going to read for you all. And I also have postcards from Spirit. I'm not going to read the whole card. I'm just going to read enough of it so you can get the gist of what I'm what I'm talking about because this is a long message unless I'm guided to read the whole message. But I see the Magician card, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Sports, Four of Wands, and the Death card. So I'm going to ask, what does my inner child want to say to me? Maybe there was a lot going on in your family when you were younger. A lot of, of different tricks, a lot of, of, of um, in and out, uh, somebody in your family may be turning um, 
maybe not doing the right thing. Uh, I see a bunch of arguing and fussing, possibly some fighting, maybe some abusive situation taking taking on or whatever. Somebody thought that they were better than somebody else in the family. Um, maybe there was a, a relationship that didn't get along. Maybe you saw some things that children should never have seen growing up here. You know, um, maybe this person here who's the magician, maybe did, did a bunch of shady stuff and, and um, um, maybe cheated. And, and there was a bunch of, of confusion around this, a bunch of, 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 of heated arguments and debates. And you did this, you did that. Get out of my house. And, and maybe maybe a relationship in the household ended because of, of cheating and abuse, uh, any kind of, of negativity. And, and the mother probably more than likely probably got tired of being treated like crap and decided to leave just decided to divorce take the family unit somewhere else because she didn't want to have to go through what this this was because this was no longer a happy unit she needed to get out of the situation for you or you yourself if you were a single child or had more more sisters and brothers or whatever um and that was the end of that relationship and that's something that doesn't seem like you've been able to read yet I was going to say you haven't been able to recover from it. And here I have here the, the three of swords. So you haven't been what you went through as a child, seeing an abusive situation. Have you haven't been able to, to get over that? As a matter of fact, now that you are grown older, maybe you are an abuser or maybe you are an abusee. Take it how it fits. Maybe you are putting your hands on somebody. Maybe you are emotionally abusing somebody. Maybe you are saying stuff to somebody you should never say to them because you know it hurts their feelings. It hurts their heart. And you know how it feels because it happened to your mother. You know, it already happened to you and you don't want to see that. Maybe you were a bully when you were younger because that's that's all you knew. You saw your, your parents arguing and fussing and fighting with one another and you feel that that's all you knew how to do but was bully. Maybe you were a bully in school or maybe somebody bullied you and, and you're carrying this into adulthood. And I have a justice card. So they ended their marriage after a while because they just couldn't get along because maybe your father or uh, the man in the family couldn't couldn't stay faithful. I wanted to say something else. Couldn't stay faithful, you know, and, and then there had to be a three of pentacles here. You know, maybe there was some kind of of uh, cheating or, or maybe somebody felt that, you know, yeah, I'm doing this all by myself. I might as well, you know, and then just somebody had to work hard at doing something because they had to end up doing it by themselves and it just, it just couldn't be helped. That's the way it was, you know. So I have here the ten of cups. Now that you're grown, and older, even though you're you're happy in your life and happy in your relationship, we still have issues. We still have problems, you know. Um, and you're you're probably a single parent, parent more than likely a single mom here. Um, and you have to do everything on your own. You know, not because you want to, but you have to. You probably were in a relationship that was abusive for you, and and the child in you is saying. Uh, OK, we were in a we were in an abusive child, an abusive relationship as when you were little. We don't have to go through this now. I know you're hurting. I know you're in pain, but don't let anybody put his hands on. you. Don't let, let anybody call you out your name. Don't let anybody disrespect you. and Don't let anybody cheat on you. And you find out about it and you stick with him. Let it let it go. Let it go. That's what your inner child wants to tell you to let it go. You don't need that. OK, there was a lot going on in your life, a lot going on in your childhood. I have here the Hermit and the Nine of Swords. My goodness, I just got chills. Look, the Hermit and the Nine of Swords. This is this situation with you being a single parent has really gotten to you. You you've been through a lot in your in your adult life, in your young adult life. Um, being a child up until now, you're still going through the ins and outs because you're in, at a point in your life to where you keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. And you know this, that's why it keep, it's keeping you up at night. Not only that, but there's an owl here and this owl is full of wisdom. You, you know what you should do and you know what you shouldn't do. You know what you should tolerate and what you shouldn't tolerate. You know, this is what, why, what, why you're all inside your head for, because you know, you're worth, you're, you're worth more than that. And that's what you're, that's what the inner child inside of you is saying is, is we suffer as a child. We don't have to suffer anymore because we're the high priestess. Get out of it. We can do this. I'm getting chills. We can do this. Get out of it. We need, if you need to get some help, let's get some help. But we need to do this. Go to a support group. Call somebody. Talk to a, a pastor or a priest. Talk to whoever that can help you get out of this. You can do this. Leave this. If you haven't left this person, if you're thinking about leaving this person, leave them because they're no good. Don't go through the, through the same thing that your mother went through or your, whoever your father went through. 
don't go through that, that that abuse. You don't have to. You may have to do it on your own. Yeah, you know. But I'd rather do it on my own to be with somebody who puts their hands on me or who calls me out my name. You don't need that, especially in front of your child. Especially in front of your child. You don't want your child seeing that because you don't want your child growing up and having those memories of what, what their father or whoever lived with you said to them. I remember so and so called my mama a B. I said this and that to my mama. And I just saw my mama crying. You don't want your child going through that. You don't want your child having those kind of memories. Okay? So I'm going to read the Capricorn core and then I'm going to read the little of this um, post cards from Spirit to see what message that you have. Okay? So I hope you all resonated with this deck number two. I definitely hope that, that you got something out of it and it reminded you of what you've been through in your life and especially in your childhood. I'm just going to find this Capricorn card and I'll read to you what it says because I think there's a message here that you need to hear. Okay. Earth's practical energy takes on an almost fiery intensity through its cardinal qualities. Determination to succeed leads to leads sometimes to success and sometimes to learning lessons the hard way. Remember I said you keep repeating the same cycle over and over again. You're still repeating the same stuff over and over and over again, even though the wisdom inside of you is telling you what to do, what you should do. You know what to do. OK, the key phrase I use means that you are motivated to use whatever is to hand in order. The key phrase I use means that you are motivated to use whatever is to hand in order to achieve your goals. In this situation, ask what do I want and what can I use to manifest it? Spend gold from straw, hard work, but the sense of satisfaction is priceless. Also, to drive to succeed is great, but there is danger in chasing goals simply for the for to enhance your reputation. You must step on others on the way up the mountain. Avoid heartless ambition. So do what you have to do. Yeah. But if there's a way that you can get around it, make sure you're doing the right thing at the right time. Make the right decisions and stop making the wrong decisions over and over and over again. Better choices. For those of you who chose number two, and this is here again is the Capricorn part. I want to read a little bit of the spirit message to see what you, what you all need to know. And you may need to know this whole thing. So I'm going to read this. So I hope you take the time out to finish because I think this is something very important for you. It says, dearest you, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes, a good solid foundation and yet flexibility too in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base, whether it be an idea that takes form, form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug, poured, and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. And didn't, I say, didn't I say that? Hmm. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly. Effort, effortlessly, as well as do a general sight check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and solid foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come to visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you are building. And this is exactly what I said to you all, pretty much. So this is the reading for deck two. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. I def definitely felt it. I'm getting uh, chills right now. So please, you all do what you all need to do to get your, your foundation the way it needs to be. Build your foundation up. Get the courage to walk away from whatever it is, whatever cycle you keep repeating because it's there. All you have to do is just open the door and walk out. So I hope you all enjoyed these readings. You all have a good night. Thank you. Bye.